that's bubbly. Hello. Okay. Got some grapefruit action up in here. What is up, Brad fam? Today, I'm gonna be talking all about my new Thousand Chapter Mips helmet. I also got a pair of gloves here too, so I'll be talking about those as well. So stay tuned. I'll let you know what I think about this Thousand helmet and how it performs. All right, let's roll. another video. I am Ryan from the Rad Bike Adventure, the place where we talk about all things bike touring, bike packing, and bike lifestyle related. It's a lot of bikes. So if you're into that sort of thing, or you'd like to be, consider gently tapping that subscribe button. Before we get started with the review, I just thought I'd give a little bit of background on this company. So Thousand was started by a woman named Gloria Huang, and she was into cycling, but never really into wearing a helmet, just didn't like the way they looked or the way they felt, which I know a lot of us can probably relate to, and then had a friend that got into a fatal accident while riding her bike, and she thought, okay, like I'm determined, I have to create a helmet that is good looking and comfortable and performs well, so then I can get more people to wear helmets and hopefully save thousands of lives, hence the name Thousand. So in this review, the first thing I'm gonna talk about are the specifications of the helmet, the stats, if you will. And then moving on from that, I will tell you what I like about it. And then maybe some things that I think could be improved or that are not my faves about this helmet. So let's get started. Woo. First things first, let's talk about what we have here. This, like I said, is the chapter MIPS helmet from Thousand. If you don't know what MIPS is, we're gonna talk about that in just a second. They do two different helmets right now, and one is the Chapter, this one right here, and the other one is the Heritage. The main difference being that the Heritage has a built-in bill, so this one is actually removable. It's got some little screws there that you can remove. Let's see if it'll focus on this. There we go. Um, that you can remove the bill and change it out. The other one, it's just completely built in. And also it has more ventilation. And I think the rest of the shape is the same, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's also a little bit more lightweight because of the ventilation. And so this is made more for like a little bit more active cyclists, whereas the, the Heritage helmet maybe is more for people who are riding e-bikes or just doing like gentle beach cruising, things like that. So this one is the more active. This helmet is 135 US dollars. The Heritage is $89. Of course, prices can fluctuate. I'm making this video in 2020, so prices could go up. I don't know. I weighed this helmet myself and it came out to 13 ounces. Some really cool features of this helmet are that it does have the inner MIPS design on the inside. So what the MIPS is, is it's supposed to move separately from your helmet. So if you were to crash, then that is moving hopefully around your head and causing less movement of your head itself. So it's just another way to prevent um, concussions. So you can kind of see that's what's going on in there. That's the MIPS. You can kind of see how it moves a bit there. So this is magnetic. So you just kind of get it close to itself and then boop, it snaps together. So I think that's a really, really nice feature. Let's get close here, show you one more time. And it's just got the little thousand logo on there. You just pull it apart like that, just slide it out. And then to put it in, and then the magnet just seals itself. This pops out so you can lock your helmet with your bike. Now, one thing to note, while this works great with a U-lock, which I do recommend if you're locking your bike, use a U-lock because it is definitely safer and more uh, of a deterrent for thieves. So you just stick that right through there and then you can proceed to lock your bike and know that this isn't gonna get just you know clipped off if you're usually doing it through the, the ear strap. But I will say that you do have to be careful of which lock you use because I thought like, oh, for sure my cable lock will fit through it. But this is actually a little bit wider than I had anticipated. And so it actually didn't fit through the hole. So just something to be aware of that not all locks are gonna work in there. But if you're using a U-lock, it will definitely work. And hey, I recommend using a U-lock anyway. Just like many other helmets nowadays, they, it has a, an adjustable wheel here. So you can get a nice tight fit on your head so you can loosen it that way or tighten it up as much as you need. I have a tiny head, so I have to tighten it really. <laughs> I have to tighten it all the way. And then the ear straps are gonna just have this kind of normal adjusting as they usually do. So you just open that up and slide it wherever you need it. There's adjustment points, so you can get it to fit your head and your face as needed. So other things about this helmet, 
are that it comes with a light, it integrates into the helmet. It is 40 lumens when it is just solid on and 50 when flashing. So that's pretty bright for a rear light. So all you're gonna do is take your helmet and then just just magnetizes right on there. And when you put it on, it turns itself on, which is super, super cool as well. And then there's just two modes. There's solid, which I said 40 lumens. And then if you click this again, you get the flashing mode, which is 50 lumens, a very bright light for a rear light. So there you have it. Boom, ready to go. Also comes with another mount that you can put on like under your seat or anywhere on your bike. So that's really nice too, that it comes with both options, the option to be integrated into the helmet and also the option to just put it somewhere on your bike. So it does come with that extra mount there. Seeing if it's in focus. There we go. Okay, so you can see right there, it's just a little USB port. So very easily charged, quick charge from what I've noticed. I think it takes two hours to fully charge. Easy as. Your helmet will come in a fancy little bag like this. So you can take good care of your helmet and when you put it away, slide it back into this bag and you won't have scuffs on your helmet. So that's a nice little touch too. I like that. Cool. So that's just a little bit about this helmet. Let's talk about the things that I like. Number one, it looks good. Let's let's put this baby on, right? Okay, let's get the hat off. I mean, hopefully you like it. I guess it is subjective. I feel like it doesn't look like a small spaceship has landed on my head. It's nice and fitted. They're kind of taking their designs from the Vespa helmets of Italy of yesteryear. I think that overall the aesthetic of this helmet is on point. It looks really nice. Colors are really nice. They took a lot of design factors into building this helmet and you can really tell. And of course, without sacrificing on safety because safety is like their number one thing. That is why she wanted to start this company in the beginning. So I think that's really cool. Definitely points on style. The other things I like about this helmet is that I find it very comfortable. I mean, that's really, really important, right? I think our longest ride with this helmet was like 25 miles and I was digging it. Really, really liking the way the helmet feels on my head while I'm riding. And hey, I got some compliments too, so that's always nice. Other things I like would of course be the things that I mentioned before, which is this chin strap that magnetizes really easily so you can get on your helmet really, really quickly. There's no fiddling with a buckle. Um, everything is very adjustable and they have a, it has a turning wheel in the back. I like that because you can really tighten it to your head shape. So that's really important. So another positive that you're probably gonna guess with this helmet is the integrated light. That to me is just super, super cool. You take it off easily slam, bam, put it on, and it just turns itself on two different modes. That is a massive perk for this helmet. Check that out. Ready to roll. So you can't say I forgot my light. Come on, it's integrated into the helmet. Don't forget this guy. Let's talk about the things that I think maybe could be improved or just aren't my favorite things about the helmet. Number one for me is there are only three sizes in this helmet. There is small, medium, and large. I personally have a very small head. <laughs> Maybe I can't tell, but it's tiny. So I personally wish that they had an extra small because I am at the very, very end of cranking this down. And I feel like I could do like one more turn and that would fit a bit better. It still fits. I just, I like my helmets to be a little snug. I would love to see some more smaller sizes for smaller bodied riders. Maybe eventually they'll have a youth line and then I could go that route, that's a possibility. Other things that I noticed, I've never worn a MIPS helmet, so I don't know if this is just common with all MIPS helmets, but it does kind of creak a little bit at times, like, cause this is moving. So when you're wearing it, sometimes it has like a slight creaking sound. Again, not a deal breaker. I'm just being a little bit nitpicky, but it was something that I noticed. Another thing I would love to see is a bit of a longer visor. It's a pretty petite visor. So I would love to see one that comes out a little bit further. I'm kind of sun sensitive. So I definitely like my visor to protect me from the sun without having to wear a cap or something underneath. I know I love rocking my cycling caps, but I usually like putting those on after I'm riding. That's just me. So I would love to see a visor that's a little bit longer. One last thing I guess I would note about the helmet is it is $135. So that is on the pricier range, but I think because you get the integrated light as well, that is 50 lumens while flashing, that to me is well worth it for this helmet. It's very comfortable, it's very well made, high quality, comfortable to wear, plenty of ventilation for riding around town, doing short commuter trips or running to get your groceries. For that, I think it is perfect. Some other things they have for sale on their website are some really cool classic looking gloves. So I bought a pair of these. Uh, you've probably seen me wearing them in a few vids. Let's rock, let's put these guys on, let's rock these. So they will get a little bit dirty even after a couple rides, but that's just the nature of this kind of glove. They are made with faux vegan leather as well and just a nice crocheted top. Really, really comfy. 
Once again, I do wish that they came in a smaller size. These are the size small. I actually have pretty big size hands for my body size. So I was hoping that I might fit into them. And while the fingers fit pretty well, it's like a little bit of gap. And then this, this thumb is, is got a lot of um, extra, extra fabric there. So it's definitely on the larger side, but I can still wear them. They're comfortable to wear. Again, just wish they had a smaller size for smaller bodied riders. I think that a lot more people could enjoy them if they had an extra small. Other things that they have on their site, which I think is super cool. I have not added this to my helmet yet, but they have some really stylish reflective stickers. So this is the one that I bought. They've got a bunch of different varieties. They have a cactus and a lightning bolt and a whole bunch of other things, but I am definitely going to, uh, throw that on right there. I think that'll look good. What do you think? You can tell that they're trying to go with safety, but also make it stylish and fun and expressive. And I really, really like that about this thousand helmet. You can see it reflecting the light. Nice. Now, as you guys know, this is a channel that is leans more towards bicycle touring. So I think the question that I'm going to get is, would you take this helmet on tour? For me, if it was a short tour, I would say yes. But if I was going on a longer tour, I still would prefer to take my mountain bike helmet. Now that is just for a couple different reasons. This helmet is definitely to me still a city helmet. And in being so it's a little bit heavier and it does not have nearly as much ventilation as my mountain bike helmet does. Let me, let me get it so we can show. You can really see there's more ventilation. You can also tell um, that the visor is quite a bit longer. It's funny because it doesn't actually look that much longer, but I notice a difference when I'm riding. The sun is kept off my face much more on this guy than it is on this one. And that is just very, very important to me. So like I said, if this one had a longer visor, maybe I would consider it more, but also another factor, maybe it's just because I have a small head. This helmet is two ounces heavier compared to this one. Now, it's not quite a fair comparison because this was a, I think $250 helmet. Generally, when you go up the price range in helmets, you get better ventilated and more comfortable and lighter. And I don't know, that two ounces makes a difference because when I'm wearing this, it definitely feels lighter than when I'm wearing this one. So for me right now, if I was to go on tour, setting off for a long tour, I still would choose my mountain bike helmet. But in saying that, if I'm just running down to the store or we're going for a 20 mile ride or we're doing a spin around town, taking the dogs out, whatnot. I'm grabbing this every time because it just looks dope and it's still very comfortable, still very well ventilated and I really enjoy wearing it. So I hope that that um, answers some of your questions about the thousand chapter helmet. Maybe you're interested in buying one. Let me know in the comments down below. What helmet do you currently wear? Are you looking to get a new helmet? Has aesthetics stopped you in the past from buying a helmet or even wearing one? I know it definitely has for me. So with this helmet, I'm definitely excited to put it on, to wear it, to go out and to rock it on my noggin. <laughs> so hopefully you guys found that video helpful. It gave you an idea about the chapter MIPS thousand helmet. I'm really digging mine. I do recommend it, especially for shorter rides, going around town, doing little weekend jaunts, whatnot. Check out thousand helmets. I'm going to put a link down below in the description if you're interested in buying one. And I might be getting Darren one of these for Christmas. Shh, don't tell. So if you liked that video, give us a thumbs up. It'll help more people see it. Subscribe for more content like this. And remember to rat on. Hey guys, I did it. I put on the sticker. It's right there. What do you think? Looks cool, right? Now it's complete.